Hi, all. Welcome back to BRR Knowledge Center. And in this session, we're going to see what are the tokens in C Sharp. So far, we have discussed the different topics in C Sharp. And uh, along with those topics, so just we wanted to uh, understand what is token and uh, like how the tokens are parts of C Sharp program. So when it comes to token, token is the smallest element of program like identifiers and keywords. And those are referring as tokens in C sharp.net. That means it's nothing but element of program which you're writing inside of C sharp. So every element in the C sharp is becoming a token. So let us take an example of keywords, identifiers, operators, etc. All these are known as tokens in C sharp. So keywords again is nothing but a reserved words predefined by the .NET framework, All right? These keywords cannot be used as identifiers or any you know, uh, names to the classes and functions and procedures. If you want to use these keywords as identifiers like names, you may prefix the keyword with the at the rate character, okay? So and similarly, identifier is nothing but a name that is used to identify a class or a variable, function, or any other user-defined, you know, uh, type or item. Okay. So these identifiers can't be right used, can't be declared using keywords. Okay. So tokens is nothing but tokens or token right, is nothing but the element of source program, element of source program. And I can say token is the, token is the smallest element of a program like keywords, identifiers, operators, etc. So let us take an example, right? If I write a program like, you know, using system and here I'm going to create a namespace demo. And like this, if I do my programming in this way, this is element, okay? This is a keyword and this also a keyword. And this is also a keyword, right? This is identifier because the name I've mentioned it for namespaces, right? This is a demo class. Okay. So if you look at here, class is a keyword, and again, this demo class is a identifier. That means name which you are which you are using it for because I mean identifying, right? A class or namespace or variable, function, etc. Okay. And inside of my class, I may write a main method, right? String and arguments. And after that, I'm going to close this. Okay. If you look at here, right? In this program, okay, let me cut, reduce the font. If you look at here, Tokens are, right, tokens are using namespace, class, static, y, main, these are, and also string, okay? These are the keywords, sorry, tokens, right? And also, right, demo demo class okay and ARGS arguments okay all becomes all becomes I think we missed one thing that is system okay all becomes tokens these are all tokens and these are right these are keywords okay these are keywords and these are right identifiers because I'm giving it for some naming, okay? So, keyword, what is keyword? Okay, when we talk about keyword, 
right? Keywords are reserved words defined by C sharp compiler. Okay. So these reserved words, reserved, reserved words, okay, cannot be used as a identifiers. That means names. If you want to use these for identifiers, right, then you need to add prefix, okay, with every character okay so these are our keywords okay if you look at c short is having one or four keywords approximately okay which includes all the types and uh, you know uh all the types and um, specifiers, keywords, etc. Example int string using namespace class wide static, right? Static abstract interface, all are keywords, all are keywords, okay when it comes to identifier okay identifier okay as i said this is the name we are using it for identifying class or function or variable and identifier is a right name used to identify right a class function variable right namespace etc okay so we generally use this identifier for the naming convention so for example in the above example demo demo class arguments these are the names if you look at here, this is the name I mentioned. This is the name I mentioned. This is the variable name I mentioned in the main method. So this becomes what? Identifiers. Okay. This becomes identifiers. Got it. Okay. So these are known as tokens in C sharp dot net. Okay. When it comes to identifier like name, we have some rules we have to follow, right? Rules to be followed for the name in C sharp. First rule is, right? Variable name must begin with letter or underscore. That means only one special character we are allowing, okay? Variable name in C sharp, right, or case sense that means whatever case you are declaring same case you have to use for access okay so next one is they can be they can be i mean variables can be constructed right with digits that is zero to nine and letters also with underscore these only the things you need to use as part of name okay so no special characters no special characters are allowed other than underscore clear and last one is keywords keyword and we used as a can be used as a variable okay so these are the some of the rules to uh, consider when you create name for any any context like no class namespace or function or variable like that okay 
Again, when it comes to names, we have some notations for, uh, you know, uh, defining variables in the C-sharp. Those are naming conventions. We have a different type of naming conventions like Hungarian, Hungarian, Camel, that is Camel, and Pascal, and Snake. So these are the different notation, notations we have to use as part of defining variable names. The first one is Hungarian. That means, so the prefix, the type of value for a variable name. So we need to add prefix with type of value. Like, uh, I'm, going to do, I'm going to define first name. So string str first name. Okay, string str last name. So like this, you need to add right this type of value. This is string. I'm going to add string str. I'm going to add here also str. Okay, this is something Hungarian. Coming to this camel notation. Okay, coming to this camel notation. <clears throat> so first letter, right? Camel. First letter lower, and next each word how capital letter. First letter lower. First letter lower right for the first word for the our uh, first letter is lower case and next each word right first letter must have capital letter okay that is what camel notation for example same variables i'm going to define as like above str okay First letter lawyer and next each word first letter captain. Okay. Again, string last name. Okay. And what about Pascal notation? What is this Pascal notation? This Pascal notation is very straightforward that every word starting letter must be caps lock. Okay. Every word first letter must be capital letter. Okay, like example, same string, first name, string, last name. Okay, we we'll look at here first word of. First letter is capital, and here also first letter of next word is capital. Okay, and the next one is make notation, which is using in Python, not in C short. Okay, this is something which is like you know all letters are lowercase. Okay, each word is in lowercase and specified by underscore it is string lowercase underscore first name first last name there's something you are going to declare using underscore symbol okay this is snake notation this is pascal notation and this is hungarian and camel in c sharp we generally use hungarian and camel Pascal most of the times Pascal and Hungarian Pascal for class names like namespace or class or method names and Hungarian for variable declaration we used to use it. Okay, so I hope you are clear on this, right? So we discussed here tokens. Token is nothing but the element of a source program, which is simplest uh, element of program like keywords, identifier operators. 
operators means again plus minus so whatever operators we're using and those also becomes tokens here and when you take a sample example here these are the tokens here and these are the keywords and these are the identifiers okay and rules to be followed for name is a variable name must begin with the letter or underscore variable name in switch up is case since two they can be constructed with the digits and the letters also with underscore no special characters apart from underscore keywords can't be used directly as a variable so when it comes to naming conventions we have four conventions hungarian camel pascal and snake okay i i hope you are very clear on this and thanks for listening to this video and please subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you